Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today, continuing my 2021 year-end top 10s as I look at my number two super middleweight in the world right now. He is the undefeated and former two-time champion, David Benavidez. Benavidez uh, entered the year coming off of a 2020 where he lost his title on the scales because he came in way overweight, did very undisciplined, didn't even try to make weight, um, and lost his world title. Um, he went on with the fight, I believe it was against Romer Angulo, and defeated him still. So there was a lot of questions about Benavidez if he was going to be disciplined enough to try to move into serious talks of the Canelo sweepstakes. Um, he was still highly rated by the WBC, and in, um, I believe it was March or April, it was in March he took on, uh, he took on Ronald Ellis, um, and, you know, it was kind of a, to be honest, it wasn't his best performance, it was kind of a lackluster performance, I mean, he got the win, he dominated the action, but, you know, a lot of people thought he should have stopped Ellis and got him out of there quicker. Um, and then in November, he took on Kyron Davis. He came in one pound overweight, but he didn't have to make the weight because it, originally it would have been an official WBC eliminator against Jose Ustadegui, but Ustadegui had to pull out of the fight by uh, either COVID or an injury about a couple weeks before, and in stepped Kyron Davis, who had given Anthony Durrell all he could handle and fought Durrell to a draw in February of 21. So... Benavidez wanted to look good and shine against um, Davis, and you know it was it was much the way he handled Ronald Ellis. He was landing the shots, all action, looked solid, but um, you know and ended up getting the stoppage. Uh, Kyron Davis landed some good counter shots, was was firing back, but it was just uh, he, he could not keep up with Benavidez's pace, and um, finally the fight was stopped in the seventh round as Benavidez stayed undefeated and in line for the WBC title. But, I mean, the only knock I got against Benavidez is he's getting close to having to move up to 175 because um, you see the, um, you see how it's tough for him to make the weight and he's a big guy. But also, I think the zip in his punches is, is just not there. Some of these guys, you know, um, before he was getting in there and just wiping them out. Um, he was never like that real big, outside of Jay Leon Love, he was never that real big one, one punch type fighter, but he just looked like he had a lot more power in his punches. Now it looks like he, you know, he's kind of, um, the weight's draining him and it's taken him a while to get some of these kind of B, C level guys out of there. Um, not to say he still doesn't look good, you know, um, but he, and he does. But, you know, I think at some point, maybe this year, he's going to be moving to 175. But for his next fight, it looks like it's tied up already, and we'll get into that in a minute. Let's look at Benavides' stat line real quick. So, he's a former two-time champ. Last year, he was number four, so he moves up two spots to number two. 25 years old, still very young, and, you know, very in need of, of proving himself. And, um... Overall, he's 25 and 0, 22 knockouts, and he is the WBC's number one contender. So, the WBC has ordered Benavidez to fight former middleweight champion David Lemieux, the hard-hitting Lemieux. If this fight happens, it's going to be good for his resume. It really is. Lemieux's a big power puncher. Uh, David Benavidez, you know, would be the favorite going in. So, it, it's a very interesting matchup, and I hope it happens because. The one thing we know for sure is he's not going to get Canelo next. Right now, Canelo does not seem interested in fighting David Benavidez. Right now, Canelo either wants to move up to 200 and, and become the first Mexican to capture a championship in a fifth weight class, or he's going to stay at 168 and fight uh, Jamal Charlo, who's the undefeated WBC champion, uh, the undefeated WBC middleweight champion. And right now, Charlo, I'd say, is a little bit bigger of a name than... Um, than Benavidez, just a little, you know, but I think Benavidez is the tougher challenge, absolutely, but I've said this since the benavidez Kyron Davis fight for the last couple months. I honestly believe that Benavidez would have a better chance at Canelo if Benavidez is fighting at light heavyweight. Eventually, Canelo's going to go to light heavyweight. That's just what
what he's going to do. He accomplished undisputed at super middleweight. He's going to go for that same crown, in my opinion, at light heavyweight. And that's going to be soon. It's going to be sooner rather than later. So I don't think Benavides is going to have to wait that long. If I'm Benavides, I get myself in line. And if the Canelo fight still doesn't happen, especially if Canelo decides to move up to 175, but if the fight does not happen by the, you know, maybe chase Canelo down until Canelo officially moves up. But, you know, take on Lemieux, go beat him, and maybe try to land another PBC guy in the second half of the year. Maybe the WBC will enforce Canelo to fight uh, Benavidez, put him on the spot, and if Canelo passes, then Canelo can, uh, then Benavidez can say, hey, he doesn't want to fight me, it's clear. The fight was ordered and he passed on it. And then Canelo can move up to 175 and then Benavidez can chase him up there. But Benavidez needs to get those credible wins under his belt though. He needs to continue to, to campaign with that. Right now, to be honest, he's got one very good win on his resume against Anthony Durrell. All his other wins, you, you can argue, are questionable. Like, oh, well, he fought a guy past his prime or guys that aren't on the level. Anthony Durrell is, is the main one. So I would love to see Benavidez and Caleb Plant. I'd love to see Benavidez stay busy against Caleb Truex. One of the one of the guys that are still floating around the top 10, but definitely still in the top 10, are the guys he wants to go for. But those guys got to want to fight him. So we'll see. But I think Benavidez has a big opportunity to be at the top of 168 by the end of the year, or at the very least have a title fight with Canelo or somebody else brewing, and maybe even make the smart move and move to light heavyweight. But we'll see. But that's what I got on my number two super middleweight in the world right now at 168 pounds, the undefeated former two-time champion, David Benavides. I hope you guys enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been hit with